Hey friends, how are you? I hope you're having a great day today. Today we will be creating a zebra, so let's get started. The first thing that you'll want to do is create a head for your zebra. So what we're going to do is create a curved line. Coming down from that curved line, we are going to come down at a slight angle on either side, but we're not going to close this up until now. Now we're going to make another slightly curved line like this. Go back up to the top and we're going to make some ears that are they're almost upside down C's it looks like to me. And then on the inside of those upside down C's, we make smaller upside down C's. Now we're going to create some detail in the face of our zebra. So we're going to have a slightly curved line and some wide set eyes. I'm not sure if you can see on the videotape, but I left a couple of small circles that are white, and those are going to be my shine marks. Then we're going to create some nostrils, which are slightly curved lines, very small. And then before we put our stripes on our zebra, we're going to create our body. So let me show you how to do that. What we're going to do is start in about the middle of our face here on the right hand side. And what we're going to do is we are going to make a line that curves down, curves around, and curves down again. And then what we're going to do on the front part here is we are going to go about to the middle of our zebra's nose and we're going to make a slightly slanted line. And your line should be approximately as long as each other, so it looks like I need to make that one a little bit longer. Now what we're going to do is we are going to make a line that comes out from the bottom of each of these lines, and then a short line up on each side, and then close that up. So these are going to be the feet and the legs that you are looking at. These are going to be the closest ones to you. Now what we're going to do is come back here and we're going to create the foot in the back of this one. So we are going to make a straight line and then it's going to come in and touch this line right here. And then the same in the back. So straight line down and then a little line over touching this line right here. Now let's create some hooves. So we have a line here, a line here, a line here, and a line here. Alrighty, so now what we can do after we have the head and face and the body of our zebra is we can create some stripes. So to create stripes on our zebra, what I'm going to do is I am going to just make a couple of letter V's. So we have a V here at the top of his head and another V that's a little bit smaller that follows the first set of lines. And if you can fit some more lines here or here or here, wherever you'd like to put some stripes, go ahead and do that. Now for the bottom part of our zebra, you have a couple of options. You can either make stripes that look like this, that come down like this, or what you can do is create these V's and those always look cute as well. So I think I'm going to create the V's. So I'm going to make a V and then I'm going to make a smaller V inside and then maybe one here, smaller V inside, maybe one here, smaller V inside, maybe one here. And I'm just going to put these different places where I think that they will look good. I'll put one here and then I think I'll put one more here. Now again this is only one way that you can make stripes for your zebra. If you'd just like to make regular stripes that go down this way that would be fine as well. Alrighty now zebras are similar to horses in that they have a mane so let's make some short lines. When I'm making a mane for my horse or my zebra I like to make sure that the lines are different lengths. So some of them are short and some of them are a little bit longer. You can even put some up here if you'd like. And then for his tail, they have, they have pretty long tails. 
so you can make it as fluffy as you'd like. What I like to do also is I like to color in my stripes. So I will take my time on this and I will make sure that they're nice and black. And it takes a while, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that right now, but I just want to show you an idea, an idea that I usually use for my zebras. Just take my time in each stripe, I will color in black like this. I even also do it for the ears. I also color in the ears black as well. So I'm going to be doing this and you can get started on your zebra. I hope that you enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you next time.